Hey everybody, this is Dean, and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft WSL, which stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. This will enable you to install uh, basically an actual Linux prompt under Windows that you can run Linux commands under, and uh, if you want to practice Linux or if you want to do particular commands uh, that you can only do in Linux, you can do it through this uh, window. So um, I'm going to show you how to uh, basically install it first. You can actually install different distributions into uh, WSL, but by default it uses Ubuntu, and so we're not going to go into how to install other distributions in this video. We're just going to do a plain vanilla install, and then we're going to configure it so that we can run it through Windows Terminal. So to start off with uh, we can run this command either from PowerShell or just from uh, the Windows command prompt. So I'm going to run it from the command prompt. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to type CMD, bring up command prompt. Now, before I click on this, I'm going to actually, instead of left clicking, I'm going to right click on it. And right here it says run as administrator. So whether you're using the command prompt or uh, Windows PowerShell, you need to be, be sure you're running as administrator. So now we can want, run the command, and the command is WSL dash dash install. And we're just going to hit enter now. All right, so now that it's installed, I'm going to reboot the machine and we'll uh, come back from there and uh, take a look at it. Once the machine restarts, it starts up this uh, window with uh, Ubuntu, which is the uh, distribution of Linux that it installs by default. Okay, after a couple of minutes, it finishes installing Ubuntu. It's going to ask you for a uh, username and a password. So uh, enter uh, whatever username you want and whatever password you want. Once you enter your username and your password, th the installation is complete. But there are a couple of other things we can do to kind of configure this a little better. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, open up uh, the Linux command window once you close out of this and then I'm going to show you how you can uh, have it run in terminal which gives it a little bit better of an interface so once uh, WSL is installed by default it installs Ubuntu uh, so here's your Ubuntu command prompt here and you can just search for Ubuntu as well it will bring up this Ubuntu app. And now uh, we can click on this to open up the command prompt if we want to. But there's a better interface for this or, or better windowing in it, which would be uh, Windows Terminal. And uh, first you need to install Windows Terminal. So you would go to uh, the Microsoft Store and do a search on Windows Terminal. And here it is right here. I already have it installed. So once that's, that's installed, uh, we could open it from here, but the way you would normally open it is right click on the desktop and go open in terminal. Now this brings up the PowerShell uh, right now, but if we go here to this little drop down arrow, we can go here and uh, click on Ubuntu and it brings up the prompt for us. The next thing we want to do actually is if you want this to be default, by default PowerShell will come up. And uh, if you're not using PowerShell or you would prefer for the Ubuntu command window to come up or the Linux command window to come up, you can uh, go here and uh, go down to settings. And you can see over here in startup it says, uh, and this is the startup for uh, the terminal. Uh, it says uh, Windows PowerShell. And what we want to do is select Ubuntu here and click on save like that. 
And then we can actually close out of all, all of this. And let's go back here to open in terminal. And then that brings up uh, a nicer interface. It brings it up into Windows Terminal. And you, and you can make adjustments within Windows Terminal and make it even nicer if you want. Two of the things you should do uh, first, after you get one of the command prompts up, we could have done this as soon as we installed it and the command prompt came up, is we want to go sudo apt and uh, we want to go update and hit enter. It's going to ask you for your password. And what it's going to do is it's going to uh, search and update all of, all of the packages that it needs to update on the terminal. Now, you'll get more initially uh, because I've, I had already installed Windows Terminal on here. Uh, so, uh, and I had already run the update. But normally when you first run the update, it will scroll down much more because there are many more packages it will go through. Then after you do, do that, you need to run sudo apt and then upgrade. And upgrade will take the packages, the list of packages that it updated to see which ones needed to be upgraded, and it will actually do the upgrading. And uh, it will be a much longer list than that as well because, once again, I've already run the updates on this particular terminal. So that's how you install and configure WSL in Microsoft Windows. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.